Hi, and welcome back to another Creative Faith with McKenna video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of something different, and I hope you enjoy. This video is going to be all about Dollar Tree, which is fun and exciting, and I encourage you to give it a chance even if you are not the type of person that would usually go to Dollarama or Dollar Tree. So um, let's start talking about Dollar Tree. I think that my favorite thing about Dollar Tree is that it's different from Dollarama. Dollarama has all of the classic stuff they always have, right? But Dollar Tree, they get a lot of more new stuff in, or maybe it's just that we just don't go to Dollar Tree often enough to know all of the stuff that they have all the time. I don't know. I just always find it really exciting when we go there. Oh, and before we get too far, I just want to say Dollar Tree is different than Dollarama because everything at Dollar Tree is, I believe it's $1.50. Um, also, this video is Canadian, so yeah. Anyways, so I want to show you what they have at Dollar Tree and, and what I like to get from Dollar Tree, and then I'll show you my haul at the end of the video. So the first thing I want to highlight in this video is Dollar Tree's card selection because their cards are awesome. <laughs> their cards are very, very unique. And I want to say that because um, their card selection is a lot wider. Um, there's a lot more variety than Dollarama, but Dollarama still has a good, you know, variety. But Dollar Tree has they're just more, I want to say sentimental. <laughs> I even found a card that I thought like totally described me. I might be a little bit self-confident, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. So um, this is the card that I found that described me. and. Um, my, and I'm like, mom, do you want to get this for me? And she's like, just imagine that um, I gave it to you. And I'm like, but you didn't sign. Anyways, so this card just described me so well. Uh, I almost, I almost got it, but I didn't because I couldn't imagine it giving it to anybody else. Okay, no, that's not why. But anyways, Dollar Tree has a pen, like stationary kind of selection. Um, I usually go straight to the craft selection, but I thought that it deserved, you know, a little um, showcase on here because they have the zebra brand, which is interesting because um, I found the zebra brand at Staples and I ended up buying a few pens and they're really good. So yeah, that's just something I found at Dollar Tree. Um, might want to check that out. Um, I do find though that their, um, I think their Jot brand is um, a little, like their highlighters are very, very dull. So I, I'm not like, depends on what the Jot brand item is, you know. They got scissors, calculators, you know, all of those things that you get for like elementary school and all that. But, um, and then, oh, something that might be interesting for you is that they also have, um, like a, a really good selection of um, shipping supplies. They got like boxes and um, you know poly mailers and what else do they have? Um, oh, they've got the like the shipping tape, you know. If you've ever seen the. Um, like a uh, shipping tape or whatever, um, the stuff that you tape up boxes up. If you've ever seen that at Shoppers, it's like $5. And it, I swear it looks almost exactly the same as what you would get at Dollar Tree. So just a pro tip when you're shipping a box and you need to tape it closed. I don't know, that's just something I found. They've got binders. And they've got, oh, um, 
I don't know, uh, this is just something I remember from my childhood, but um, I remember always having those um, hard plastic um, pencil case things. Uh, yeah, I found those too. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And then they got, wait for it, they have amazing gift wrap that I don't find anywhere else. They're like cute and patterned in like, oh, they also have like the regular solid colors like that, you know, dollar in has, but they also have cute patterned tissue paper, which is great. And then they all, you know, they have the bows and ribbons and all that and then the um, wrapping paper. You need wrapping paper for a gift. Yeah, anyways, um, so they got like a good gift selection thing. And then their frame aisle is kind of cool because they've got just cute frames. Honestly, their selection is a lot, like I said, their selection is, a, is has a lot more variety than Dollarama. So you can find like cute frames and stuff, cute like wooden ones um, that you might not find at Dollarama. I found this a cute thing that said, um, be kind. I was like a little, oh, I wanted, it was like a wooden little thing with an open back. Oh, it was cute and I had to get it, of course, um, because that is like my value to be kind to everybody. And then in the kind of crafty, craft, it, we're getting crafty here, okay. Um, in that aisle, we've got some like organizer container, like, and don't, don't be thinking huge because they're not, they're literally just for like, you know, beads and stuff and all that. So they've got those kind of organizer containers. Um, oh, they've got these cute little bu white buckets. Uh, I don't know what I would use them for, but they have jumped into my basket in the past in Dollar Tree. So, yeah. A lot of the times my mom asks me, you know, what are you gonna use that for? And I'm like, I don't know, but I wanna have it when I do know, like I'm buying it to have it. And then when I know, I'll use it, you know? Oh, I am so glad I live under my parents' roof and I have the money to spend at Dollar Tree. Now, their canvases are quite interesting because, um, so they don't have a lot of like, uh, you know, thick canvases. They have a lot of flat canvases and I found, um, they have, <laughs> I really like them. I don't know how to describe them. They're kind of like a, there's a, um, a white board, like what you, you know, okay. I don't have words. These tiny stand up black boards, I guess, like chalk boards. And then they also have white boards that you, you know, like dry erase board basically. Um, which is so cool. Uh, yeah, they got a lot of chalkboard items near their canvases and I snatched up a few, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and then I found this canvas that is magnetic. So it's like flat canvas, but it's magnetic. I, I don't know. That just gets me excited. I think that uh, there's potential for that. You could like paint something and then magnetic it. Okay, that, 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 that was not a flowing sentence, but you could stick it to your fridge. They have vases. Um, they have like a whole selection of like glassware vases and all that um, in the crafty aisle. And oh, they've got candles, man, they are cute. I had to videotape them. I didn't end up getting any because I am afraid of candles. No, that's not right. I didn't say that right. I am not afraid of candles, but I'm afraid of the potential that I would burn down my house. So I stick to my wax melter, which is kind of like a safer candle. I love the aesthetic of candles, but I uh, I always buy them and then I never end up using them until like a blackout or, in, or something like that. So, um, gotta just stick to my wax melter. And then in the craft aisle, I found these um, these DIY wooden dice. I thought they were so cool because they're just like wooden DIY dice. Oh, I, I picked up some dice, let's be honest. I have no idea how, what I'm gonna do with them or, I'm gonna use them, but I, I bought them. 
this is what happens in Dollar Tree. Things jump in your basket and you don't know if you, okay, well you know you actually don't need it, but you don't know how you're gonna use it now that you're buying it. And then they have these push pin cushion things for like people that sew, so you can just stick your, you know, needles and, and all that into the push pin. And they're kind of cute actually, they're like flowery and yeah, I thought they were cute. Now it's time to talk about rub-ons, my favorite. I can never say no to rub-ons. Let me tell you why. So they are different than stickers. Don't get confused. You have to really look at the label of these things. Don't end up buying a sticker when you want a rub-on, okay? So look at what, what the product actually is because it can look like a rub-on, but it might be a sticker. The thing I like about rub-ons is they transfer, it's almost like an ink transfer onto whatever surface that you put it on and you just rub it off and then you peel it up and it's, it's kind of like a temporary tattoo. Put the tattoo on and then you wet it and then you peel it up and, and it's transferred onto your skin. Kind of like that, but it's, um, you know, used for like crafty stuff. And so it doesn't, it's not a sticker at all, which I love. Um, the only thing I don't like about Dollar Tree's um, rub-ons is that they always change so when you see a rub-on thing you have to grab as many as you think you'll need or you or want let's be honest because you probably won't be seeing that rub-on again especially if it's cute they tend to not bring them back I don't know why I found these wooden like frame things I ended up buying one because I don't know they're just cute um, like you would use them to, I don't know, like put pictures on. They're not like a cork board, but they're just, I don't know, I see so much crafty DIY potential with it, so I had to get one. Okay, now just something that everybody should have. Toenail clippers. It's hard to find good ones. I found toenail clippers here and don't know if you've noticed but some toenail clippers don't have that thing in between the like when you flip it up like a scraper thing and these ones do so that's kind of cool at least they they're they're the whole complete toenail clipper they've got face masks and nail things lots of makeup um, I bought a few things before that I like but I'm not a makeup person so um, I kind I tend to like the stuff like the shimmery stuff that you can you know, put on your cheeks, just add a little subtle touch. I'm not foundation. Okay, I turned that off by accident. I'm not foundation or mascara or eyeshadow, none of that, or lipstick. So I don't really, I haven't really tried anything like that. But on these like cool nail colors, if I was the type of person to put fake nails on, these might be cool to try, but I'm not. So I just wanted to show you though, because the, the colors are very aesthetic. They've also got scrunchies. I like the velvet scrunchies. I like the velvet scrunchies. I usually get my scrunchies from um, Claire's. I know, right? Like they have a great selection of velvet scrunchies and they're always like buy three, get three free. I, I love them. Um, I found velvet scrunchies at Dollar Tree and just thought I wanted to show you. Not to mention I bought like two, so. Also found this like, um, <laughs> section mirror <laughs> um, so I thought that was a little interesting they've got like, the small toiletries for travel well and then like the they've got like body spray antiperspirant or something I don't know I picked one of them up because I thought maybe I'll try it you know Dollar Tree has a lot of um, hardware supplies like these mini scrapers and I like the look of them because um, well they've got like a plastic cover so you don't actually have to hold these you know um, blades and like honestly I don't know what half of it is but that's not true I kind of do but I don't I just wouldn't use half of it most of it and they've got like some like knives and stuff like that and I found these like mini cute like 
uh, like I think they're like screwdrivers and a mini tiny what's it called like a measuring tape oh my goodness it's so cute oh uh, yeah they're even they're, they even have cute hardware which is saying a lot and like I said earlier they've got the um, mailing tape and the strapping tape so you might want to pick that up as a cheap alternative to what shoppers offers but yeah now let's talk about their like food selection now I didn't videotape a lot because then I would have bought food I um I like chewing and tasting but that's not the point of this video um, the point is that I found pop like Diet Coke or Pepsi um, I think they also had ginger ale anyways so and they were like one liter things and to get that for like a dollar 25 or a dollar 50 that's pretty impressive then I also found these weird huge like um, pop can drink things they're not pop I think they might be some sort of tea I don't know I had to include them in this video because I thought they were cool um, and huge uh, anyways so I found those I have no idea what they are but they looked interesting they also have a great selection of glassware um, so like plates bowls mugs um, things like that and their their glassware is like set related so they've got like uh, white sets and then like a black set and like some striped blue sets and all that um, but yeah their glassware is actually pretty nice like if you were very um, if you're moving out for the first time now I'm not saying whatsoever to get your dishes from Dollar Tree but if you were on an extremely tight budget this is something you might want to consider I've got bowls from from Dollarama all the time and they fit in nicely with our bowls and dishes from Ikea so um, it really depends on what you're looking for and, and how much money you want to spend. Oh, and then these um, these tiny glass bowls, man, they remind me of when I when I was younger. I would go to my grandma's place, and she would always have like Jello. Her her dishes are part of my childhood. Um, anyways, they're just they're like grandma's dishes. Anyways, uh, so those those bowls, those tiny bowls, remind me of the bowls that my grandma would put Jello in, and then we would come over and then put like whipped cream on it. Anyways, um, always oh, hanging out with grandma is fun. <laughs> Have some really cute um, like uh, tiny kitchen stuff. Um, they've got some like knives and you know spatulas and stuff. Anyways, that's just something I wanted to include in the video. Basically, I want to show you how much variety and how much stuff in each category there is at Dollar Tree. And then they also have these magic shine things for your to shine up your shoes. Um, my mom pointed them out. She's gotten them before and they work well. So um, yeah, so it's just something that we thought to include in the video. And finally, the last thing I want to show you today is these water bottles these are my favorite we have four at home my mom dropped one of the lids down the carburetor so we bought two more pink ones so I love them because they are hard plastic so they're not too flimsy but they look like the um, disposable plastic bottles that you would have um, like just the ones that you that are recyclable and recycle Glowable, that's how you say it. I'm not gonna try again. They come in gray and pink, which are great colors. I love them. We have a lot at home. Okay, now that I'm done showing you Dollar Tree, and you might be pleasantly surprised by what I ended up showing you and what they have. Of course, they have much more than I included in this video, but now it's time for my Dollar Tree haul where I show you what I actually picked up. So, like I said, I picked up two of these bottles because they are cute and functional and they're very they're very hard so that's good and they're bpa free which is a chemical you do not want to be drinking out of like i said i wanted to try the body spray so it's a fresh scent um yeah i just wanted to try this and then also um like i said i was looking at the velvet scrunchies and i found two colors nice and cute and then I often times like to write to my friends. Just we always like to get something in the mail that isn't bills or junk mail trying to make you buy stuff. Today I picked up the, um, the dog, which is cute because I know my friends like animals. And then the plants. Uh, hold on, that's backward. That's upside down. These plants. <laughs> I picked up those today or yesterday. 
Like I said, I picked up this Be Kind thing. Um, it's got like a clear open back, so you can just like put a nail and then hang it on the wall. Anyways, it's, um, it's one of my values, just to have an open mind with everybody and just to be kind. But the Zebra brand is good, so I wanted to try the, um, these are gel pens, metal metallic ink. So I got a purple and a green, gold and silver. I got, um, whoa, okay, pink and blue. <clears throat> and then I also picked up these ultra fine pens, um, 0.5 millimeters. So I picked up those because I always like to try new stationery. Okay, and then like I said, I, they have a lot of chalkboard stuff. I never end up using it, but I like to buy it. So I got this little chalkboard hanging thing, um, which is kind of cute. And then I picked up this. I already have the some of the black chalkboard ones. Anyway, so this is a, a whiteboard. Um, anyways, so I liked this uh, thing. And then, um, like I said, I thought the magnetic artist canvas what had potential. So I picked up one of those as well. Uh, I picked up the dice that I was telling you about. Um, I don't know why, I just, I get crafty. I picked up this card. It says, you are strong and then some. And then on the inside it says, this is hard, but you are not alone. Hope you know, not a day goes by that you are not thought about and cared about. You will get there one day at a time. I like to encourage people. I don't know who I'm gonna send it to, but I I liked it. And then we've got some rub-ons. So we've got this little design, boho kind of interesting design. Now this isn't usually some design I would go for, but it grabbed me because I know I won't see it again. Got some greenery, rub-on transfers, and then we've got some, just some gold, floral stuff. Um, oh, and then one more thing. Like I said, I picked this up because I liked the idea of it. It just gets me in a crafty mood. Um, and it's got these two things um, on the back. Anyways, yeah. So that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed this haul from Dollar Tree. And maybe you found out that Dollar Tree you can get some really interesting stuff there and just to see how much stuff they have and how much money you can spend there it's very easy to spend a lot of money hope you got some inspiration and maybe you should go check out your local or out of city dollar tree uh, have a beautiful day and don't forget to like and subscribe for more just you know comment down below what you thought was most interesting anyways okay have fun